So we realized we totally forgot to go to the Imperial Palace. <laughs> Luckily, we still had two days of unplanned things. And we to yeah, we totally almost forgot. I can't Oops. actually take a picture of this game because we're too close. But, uh... We're just here now. Okay, I'll stand in front of it. It'll be perfect. Ah, this is good. It's a bit small, but good palace, I guess. Well, yeah, I like this palace. Yeah. Oh, this one's open. <laughs> Weird. <laughs> It's, it's actually huge. Like we looked at the map and it's just ginormous. This is just the East Gardens, I think? Yes, we've entered through the East Gardens. We're supposed to get some sort of plastic ticket. That might be over here? Which I'm guessing over here because it seems to be gated off. Yeah. Oh, well, look, we can show the map. Ah. The East Gardens. You are here. Oh, ticket office. That was it. That's all we've done. <laughs> ah, we've gone to the Hirakawamon Gate. Okay, let's go get some tickets. We've got our admission tickets. We're in. I think you mean administration tickets? No. Oh, look, flowers. <laughs> Hang on, here's our little ticket. We gotta return it. I was gonna try and get a picture, but I'm gonna totally block him here. Shit, <laughs> probably got it. <laughs> It's very bright, can't see anything. There's a nice little it's river. Right there. Of all the days to not bring my sunglasses. <laughs> you didn't bring them, did you? Did not bring them today because I thought we were just going for breakfast. And here we are, wandering around outside. Also, it's supposed to only be sunny for two hours. So we picked a good time to come. Yeah, yeah, actually. It's supposed to be cloudy for the rest of the day. We've got little flowers. Me neither. Rest assured, there's some little flowers on this tree. Yeah. I guess that's like toward the actual palace over there. Yeah. Which way do we want to go? Going around here? Sure. Man, these walls are really, really tall. Nice. We're walking right into the sun, so I can't see anything. It's a viewing slope, apparently. It's pretty decent. It's really steep. Oh. <laughs> it's breaking my immersion a little bit. <laughs> the solar panels on top. Um, might be just say it looks like solar panels, but it might just be glass. Yeah, immersion broken. Little bike shelter there. Well, I don't think the Imperial family wants to live in a 500 year <laughs> rundown shack or something. Wow. We <laughs> call the Imperial Palace a rundown shack. No, I'm saying that like, they wouldn't want to live in something like that, so they're going to put modern things inside the grounds. Hmm. It's, it's private. <coughs> huh. There's a rest house over there. It's a defense house. There's a, thing over there. There's a cool thing over there. Defense house. Remains of the of Edo Castle. That sounds pretty cool. The remains? Yeah. The foundation of it. Oh, that's probably what that is. That's okay, let's go there. This is the former site of Matsu no Roka. Whatever that is. It's pretty cool though. You can just walk all over this apparently. <laughs> Huh. We probably don't have animals in here. Probably not. Okay, let's go up there. We've got to find the bench that Kyoto and Asuna sat on. They sit on one here? Yeah, it was like their first date back in the real world. It was at the Imperial oh, Palace. What? <laughs> something, they were like looking up at the sky or something. I don't know, it's been a long time. <laughs> but I, I, do, I do distinctly remember that. And then you and I can sit on it together. We'll sit on different benches. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll reenact the scene. <laughs> on different benches? Yeah. That's not really reenacting, is it? So let's get it that way. You'll have to stream it on Netflix on your phone so we can find out what it was. <laughs> wow, 
でかいお城出たの That's a nice view. I mean, <laughs> slightly ruined by just downtown everywhere. Yeah. Only slightly. Oh, that's nice though. Whatever that is. A little, little drain down there. Neat. Or he's taking photos. Photo boy. You may be wondering where these photos are going. They're going on Robbie's personal Facebook page, so you'll never see them. <laughs> I saw them could go up on the Dreader Facebook page. Yeah. <laughs> I'd have to like repost all of them. I could put them into a like we could put them into a slideshow and then make a video out of them. <laughs> True. Uh, we could do a PowerPoint. Yeah. Everyone loves PowerPoints. Oh, turn it into a video. This is the remains. <laughs> yeah. That was it. Yeah. It's very busy up here. I don't know. I don't really remember it very well. Did they go into a no admissions Uh, I don't think so. This is very nice though. Look at these fun trees. I was hoping we'd keep walking so I could start recording early. Um, but now we've stopped and it's kind of thrown off my whole... Okay, we're going now. It's fine. Wow, look at these cool trees. <laughs> like a couple of benches. I think, I feel like they were looking out like over that garden bit, but I'm really not sure. I don't remember the scene. I don't remember what episode it is. I really wish we'd watched it. Yeah, or even like when it's from. I think it's like... It's gotta be towards the end, right? I think it's... Season must be season two. No, it's the start of season two, I guess. Because oh, yeah. Austin has trapped all of season one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think it's the start of GGO. Mm -hmm. Is that on Netflix? I think so. Holy shit. Maybe. I mean, I'll put a little Maybe. little screenshot or a clip in the video of where it is. You mean you already have? Whoa. No, I was going to, but then I just did it. Fantastic. It's the stone cellar over here. If you want to check that out, I mean, it was this. It's really nice here. It's, it's really hard nice. to get like a, like a shot of something really impressive, like a single shot. Yeah. Like, the Magic Castle was quite easy because. <laughs> Massive what about the stone cellar though? It's not that impressive, I guess, but it's all right. On a big old steep slope. Yeah, you can you can definitely see how steep this is, right? Oh god! <laughs> we should get a nice view though. You're not of... allowed to come up with a wheelchair because you'll never <laughs> kill someone or die. Yeah. The fall back on you would be very sad. This is a defense house. A better view of it. Sole surviving example of the defense houses which in the period of the Tokugawa shogunate, together with towers and walls, circled the Honmaru, or the main compound of the Tokugawa shogunate's Edo Castle. Edo. Edo Castle. Neat. I think we're actually allowed inside. I think we are. Neat. Please carry your shoes in plastic bag. Oh. Maybe we don't need to see all of them then. I think this must be the orchard. Yes. Possibly. <laughs> what kind of trees do we have here? Some sort of fruit tree. Citrus. Something. <gasps> That's actual lemons. I think those are, this is a lemon tree. It's a lemon in there. It smells a little lemony. Maybe. Oh, there's oranges over there I saw. This is another lemon tree. There you go. Some more lemons. You're right on them. There we go. <laughs> I guess we got oranges. Oh, this is nice. It's probably growing <laughs> in January. There they go, there they are. <sighs> it is a, a very temporary yeah. winter here. Oh. I think the rest is all the same. It's quite a small orchard, but it's nice. It's, uh, it's a work in progress. <laughs> I love that we're just allowed to walk all over the grass. Yeah, it's it's no big cool. deal. There's some kind of viewing tower over this way that yeah, we're gonna go Fuji check out. Viewing tower. Oh, finally. Honestly, Mount Fuji. Yeah. They probably won't let us up the tower. <laughs> Shit. It's a defense tower. Definitely not allowed up there. It's another building here. Very few of them surprisingly <laughs> in the Imperial House. It's like the third building we've seen. I, I really was expecting more buildings. More, more palace y kind of thing. Yeah. Oh, so I guess a, a lot of it's 
they should take you down or yeah. for whatever reason natural disasters or otherwise. It's the guardhouse. You know, if I'd had to guess, I'd say this was another guardhouse. Maybe. Maybe it's like a barracks or something. I'm a shrub. Is it meant to look like the roofs of these buildings? Or did you get one? Yeah. Nice. You're not a shrub. I'm not a shrub. I'm not no one. <laughs> a nice building up there. It was a guardhouse. I was right. I was right. Yeah. Really good at this. It was positioning the most critical point to guard the entrance to the home Neat. I don't know what that is. It's kind of cool. It's the main compound. Oh. Pretty cool. A pond and a bunch of little like bridges. Yeah. Even though these bridges are not ever a pond, they're ever little gardens. <laughs> That's really cool actually. Oh, a little waterfall over there. You can hear it. I don't know if you can hear. Now you can see it. You're almost done with the palace, though. Yep. We've basically gone everywhere on the ground, so there's to go. Um, not as spectacular as the Magic Castle was. No. So cool. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Quite a dirty little pond. <laughs> I don't see any fish. Ah, got this little thing. <laughs> Oh, that's a nice picture. Oh, you can just like wander up there if you want. Yeah. That little thing there. Pretty neat. <laughs> and the fish. Hello, Mr. Fish. Hiding now. This is the tea house. It's where they had tea. As you can guess from the name. What's the name? The tea house. Hmm. It's where they had tea. It doesn't really look like a tea shaped house. It's strange, huh? <laughs> Maybe tea's a different shape in Japanese. <laughs> 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 Where they had tea. <laughs> There's a. <laughs> oh, hello. Oh. <laughs> Were you struggling a bit? <laughs> There's a hard and a soft side to the pillows. Oh, okay. Didn't want to squish some things too badly. Um, I'm all packed. Backpack, suitcase, done. <laughs> we still got several articles strewn around the room. Look, I have more stuff, okay? It's true. There's a little Charmander poking out there. Uh, we've got this noodle cup here, which may or may not come. Uh, a box with coming. two Tokyo bananas. The noodle cup isn't coming. Um, we just stuffed a jacket in there and, and a pillow. A pillow. It's good. It's doing very well. We're we have to check out in one hour. An hour. So we're gonna hopefully leave all our luggage uh, at the desk and then go get breakfast. Poodle around a bit, kill some time, and then go to the airport. Well, oh yeah, our flight was delayed like an hour and a half as well. <laughs> it was originally leaving at 7 p.m., so we would have had to kill you know like five hours before we could check in and stuff. Now it's leaving at 8:30. Yeah, <laughs> that sucks. <laughs> at least it's more of like an overnight flight, so it should hopefully be easier to sleep. But yeah, not stoked about it being delayed. See ya. Made it to the airport. Probably selling a pass. <laughs> We're like pretty early. Um, we're gonna try and find a Pokemon Center. It's like on the fifth floor, so we're gonna do a little wonder. He's done. <laughs> Getting paid. <laughs> Get money. Final drink in Japan. Some melon soda. Oh, oh. Tasty. Hopefully. <laughs> Probably's over there. We didn't. We didn't talk about it. But Robbie lost his passport for half an hour. Yeah. 
It was a little rough. Like, um... There we are. We went, and uh, when we arrived, we bought some extra subway tickets. Like, we, we bought five subway tickets, each of them 72 hours or three days. And we only ended up using four. And so, they had a refund policy, and so we were like, okay, we'll just go back and return the, the last one, and, you know, we get, like, 80% of the money we spent on it back. So we went and did that, John went first, and then I went, and this probably would have happened if John just let me go first. <laughs> it's not my fault. <laughs> no, it's not, but um, basically, I had them in this little case that I had my passport in, or the itch. And then I took it out and I put the, the passport case on this little shelf, this lip um, below the counter. And uh, I, I gave the guy the pass, he gave me the money. And then I, I forgot that I had to put the case on that thing and I just turned and saw John recording a video. <laughs> and I just, I left. And then we, we went up and like found a place to sit. Uh, had we eaten at that point? No, not yet. No, not yet. And um, basically we were sitting there and I was talking to John and then I heard my name get called, it was butchered horribly, but I heard it get called on the like intercom and then I heard John's name and I was like, what the heck? Why are they calling us six hours before our flight is supposed to leave? How do they even know we're here? And then we went to the information desk and they are like, yeah, we found a little case. And I was like, a little case? What? And I was like, oh shoot. Oh, I knew shit. immediately what I had done. Which was awful because it had a credit card in there <laughs> and my passport. Your passport. <laughs> we went, talked to them, found it, and it was all fine. But a uh, little, little stressful when I realized that I left my passport. That so you'd lost your passport in an airport? Yeah, that was, that was pretty stressful. The airport's a good place to lose your passport. I you guess, yeah. Anywhere, but, like, still. Yeah. Yeah, that was that was fun. We'll let Robbie get back to his sandwich now. <sighs> and that real bacon. There it is. Mm. Plugging things in. We're in Vancouver. Uh, John's a bit dead. I'm really tired. I'm not. I'm yeah. alright. It's what, like 6, 7 a.m. Japanese time? It's about 7 a.m. Sweet. We're not gonna get home for like another three hours or so. Yeah, it's a bit rough. Yeah. We uh, got bumped a couple times. Sort of bumped. Not like they told us that we didn't have seats anymore. More so just that. Our original flight got delayed from Tokyo to Vancouver, and so they like moved us and then moved us again. Yeah, so we had like a two-hour wait in Vancouver, which is wasn't bad because John was dying of hunger, so we got to get some yeah. lunch. And now we only have to wait like another forty minutes until we can board. Yeah, so. that's pretty good. Yeah. So we'll be we'll Ladies be home soon. This is the final boarding call for Air Canada, flight one eight. Oh, that's it's not. All cool joke. Now That's all my energy got now. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> Spending the rest of the day's energy in that one, just on that one little little joke. Stop. Stop. Okay. Cool. What was your favorite part of Japan? One. One thing. Go. Top of your head. Pokemon centers. Okay. Oh, but Coco Curry. No, it was Pokemon Center. So I think it was Pokemon Center, and then a close second is Coco Curry. Okay, that's and fair. Oh, there are so many things I loved about Japan. Like everyone was so polite there. Yeah, we missed that already. Everyone's assholes here, basically. <laughs> Pretty much. Everyone either doesn't give a shit, or they're just assholes. And yeah. Like, I really like how everyone's job in Japan, I was talking to John earlier, everyone's job in Japan seems like it's important and that it matters and everyone takes pride in it. And yeah. here, people just hate life. Yeah. And, and they just don't try. It yeah. sucks. It sucks. Like, we're talking about how we have to tip in Canada now and we didn't have to tip in Japan. And even though we weren't tipping in Japan, service was always excellent. Except for like one time, I can think yeah. of. Yeah, one place. One place out of... You know, we, we ate out roughly two to three times every day. Yeah. And one time over that, whatever, 28 to, I can't do math, 42. Some some number like of meals. 35 meals. One of them was kind of bad service. Yeah. So, like, here, every other one, it seems like it's bad service. Yeah, and you, you have to tip. And so. you tip for it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I missed Japan already. <laughs> 
lots of really good things about Japan, but miss space and uh, not crowded areas, basically. Yeah, it's and gonna driving. be really quiet here. It's gonna be nice. Yeah, it is. It's like after the streets of like Akihabara and uh, oh my god, like Tokyo Disney. It's like there's so much room to breathe. There's like no one in this area that we're sitting in right now. It's really nice. So that's why we're wrapping up the the vlogs here. Yeah. I don't. I, you don't need to see Calgary Airport. You've seen that before. How will they know we got there alive though? The videos will go out. <laughs> True. If not, there'll be like the lamentation at the end. Sorry, they died <laughs> on an hour flight to Calgary. <laughs> yeah. All right. Thanks for watching our Japan vlogs. Yeah, it was good fun. It was uh, great. You know, there was ups and downs. I'm losing my passport. <laughs> uh, going to see cool places. Yeah. Wrestle Kingdom. Oh, Wrestle Kingdom was so good. Amazing. I never have to go to a wrestling show ever again because I already saw the best one. Yeah, can't top it. Yep. All right. Bye. Bye. See you in the next video. Unless John sleeps forever, which he might do because he's a tired boy. Still holding it. It's just a bit. It's funny. <laughs>